Hi. Hi, Mary. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello, Hi. 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 Lucas is here. Hi, Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Hi. The only guy volunteer. Yes. 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 No, we have more. We have okay. more guys. Yeah, we have <laughs> Asha. Oh, yes. Yeah. Your students. Rami <laughs> Mayaka. <laughs> Uh -huh. oh, yeah. <clears throat> Was there any uh, topic that we were going to be discussing specifically? I didn't see anything because my email has been getting cluttered with all my school emails since I started classes on Monday. So if I missed <laughs> The prompt. Um, I'm so sorry. I'll uh, I'll let you guys know in the introduction here when we get started. It's, this okay, is very great. informal today. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> you didn't you didn't miss anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great. Because my inbox has been getting flooded with emails from school. <laughs> yeah. Ani is here. <laughs> Hello, Hi, Ani. Hey. Oh. Hi. Hi, one sec. <laughs> I guess we can start. Yeah, let's go ahead. Okay. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on which time zone you're in. Um, it's exciting to have volunteers from all over the world. We, we have volunteers from California, Kansas, Texas, um, Germany. from Germany, Italy, uh, Emirates. the United Emirates, and um, of course Armenia. So it's, it's really nice to see everyone's face today. And England, we forgot. And England. Yeah. Yes, we have one. Uh, my name is Saroj Teryan. I'm one of the uh, co-founders of the Armenian Volunteer Network, along with Christina and Hasmik. So I wanted to welcome you. Um, this is going to be just a short, f kind of a fun meeting today, so we can all see each other and get to know each other a little bit. Um, AMVN was started just a few months ago. It was Hasmik's idea, actually. And Christina and I uh, thought it sounded like a, something interesting. And uh, we had no idea. Things are, are happening so fast. Um, right now, just a quick update. Uh, we have 18 volunteers, all of you guys. We have uh, 19 classes that are ongoing right now. Uh, those include English, Russian classes, we IT classes, uh, SAT exam. Uh, there's a marketing class that's starting soon. We're excited about it. So, um, and some art and dance classes, hopefully, to start soon. Uh, there are about 160 students uh, signed up right now for the classes, so uh, we're excited that uh, we, have such, we have such amazing volunteers and there's also such a big demand for the classes. So I um, want you to know that this 
organization is really about you guys. You volunteers are the ones who are, are doing the hard work. You're doing the amazing uh, job of teaching. We have heard nothing but positive comments about all of the lessons. Uh, I know the students have been thrilled and uh, it's been nice to hear from some of you volunteers too that, uh, that it's been really fun for you guys too. So um, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, just a big welcome and a big thank you to everyone. We just wanted to have a, a short and fun get together today. Uh, it's Saturday, so we don't want to work too much today. We just want to, we wanted everyone to see everyone's faces and uh, just say a warm thank you to everyone. And I'll let Christina and Hasmik uh, continue from there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, thank you for volunteering. You're doing a great job. We are proud of you. Thank you. So every time I enjoy your classes, as I observe all your classes, so every time, yes, I am eager to watch your classes, to participate in your classes. Sophie's class is one of the best ones that I enjoy all the time. So all the classes, like Mary's Brooks, uh, I don't know, uh, running Dinea. So I'm proud that I know all of you guys. Thank you indeed. As uh, Seroj and Christina said, you are doing the most important part of our uh, job. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Can start? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So let's, uh, let's go around and uh, if everyone could just say, uh, since I know some of you don't know each other, so just uh, introduce yourself, let us know your name, uh, where you are right now, um, and uh, what you're teaching with AMVN, and maybe something funny or something silly that's happened uh, in the course of your classes or with some of your students, uh, something like that. And we can start, uh, how about Brooke? Uh, do you mind going first? Okay, hi, I'm Brooke. Um, I'm from Texas. Um, I'm teaching and helping with English right now. And something fun that's happened in my class. Well, my class, it like goes from like, I think like 14 to like maybe 20. And I have this one kid who just loves to talk the whole time. So you have to like cut him off and it's like the funniest thing. But yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Yeah. Great. And Brooke is friends with Mary. So Mary, if, if you want to go next, that would be fine. Okay. Um, I'm Mary. I'm 18. I also live in Dallas, Texas, but right now I'm actually in Colorado in an RV. <laughs> um, but yeah, something that's happened in my class. Well, I've only had two classes so far, but something that kind of stuck with me was, um, we had like a really deep conversation and I guess it kind of hit a soft spot in the girls. So that was good to kind of experience that. Yeah, Mary said she made two people cry in her class. So <laughs> just, I don't know if that's good or bad. No, I think <laughs> it was a good cry, I think. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you, Mary. Uh, thanks, Mary. Uh, do you mind telling us about yourself? Um, Sorry, who is it? Oh. Navart, can you hear us? Yeah. So, yeah. I thought I couldn't hear. I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Navart. Um, I've been volunteer. I haven't volunteered so much. I only uh, like gave classes only free lessons. Uh, I'm teaching English. I'm enjoying it so much. I love volunteering and I'm sure I'll have great memories. Thanks, Navarta. Thank I, I just watched one of your class videos uh, this morning and I was really impressed with uh, the way you organize and have all the materials. So that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Linnea, how about you? <laughs> Unmute yourself and tell us. <laughs> Well, hello, I'm Linnea and I'm from California. I teach English to fifth, sixth grade age. And uh, it's been going good, I've been really enjoying it. What I think has been funny is 
you know, sometimes the parents like to sit in the background and watch, but sometimes I can hear the parents feeding their, the children the answers. So it's funny <laughs> to hear that echo of the answers. <laughs> but yeah. And uh, Linnea is also in uh, part of our Armenian class. Uh, so just so everyone knows, as a volunteer, uh, you are welcome to join Armenian classes if you have an interest in learning some Armenian. So it's, it's been kind of, those classes have been really fun to watch too. Um, uh, so Linnea and her sister Sadie and Sophie and Ranin and I think Katrin have all yeah. been part of that. So if anyone has an interest in that, that's something that's yep. available. Mm -hmm. Lilith is one of our new volunteers. Lilith John, do you mind going next? Can you hear me? Uh, not very well. We can't hear you, Lilith. Just a little bit. It's not very loud. How is it now? No. It, we can hear you, but it's not very loud. Yeah, I think we need to fix something here. <laughs> Oh, give me a little time. I will see um, maybe there's something in my settings. Uh, we can hear you a little bit if you speak up, maybe. Louder. Okay. Mm. My name is Lilith. I'm from Italy. I was born in Armenia, uh, but when I was 17, we moved to Russia. So I uh, lived in Moscow about 15 years, <laughs> and then I moved to Italy, and now I'm here. I'm... I will teach marketing, which is starting next week. <laughs> I'm very excited and I am a little bit nervous. <laughs> so if you have some tips, uh, please give me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Lily. Thank you. Um, uh, let's see. Camille, we'll come back to you, but uh, uh, Lucas. Uh, do you have any tips for Lilith? Maybe I know you just started and you were nervous a little bit, maybe the first time. Yeah, I I was a little bit nervous. I don't know why, because once I started, it wasn't bad at all. I think, um, I don't know, it sounds kind of like cheesy or cliche, but just be yourself. Like you don't have to try to be anything else or be like a different version of yourself. Just be yourself. Um, and everyone's super nice and polite. So that's what's important too. There's no one that's like rude or expecting you to be like awesome. So yeah, I just think be yourself, uh, have fun with it. That's what I'd say to like have fun and relax. That, that definitely helped me. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, Lilith has a difficult student in her group. Oh, yes. That's, that's, that's me. I, I'm going to be part of that group. So The whole team. <laughs> Yes, an optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> We're excited to learn some marketing strategies that could help us. So, uh, Lucas, do you, do you want to tell us uh, just uh, where you are and what, what oh, class sure. you've been teaching? Uh, um, hi, I'm Lucas. Um, I am currently in Kirksville, Missouri, uh, in the United States of America. Um, this is my college town, uh, but my hometown is Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, it's much larger <laughs> than uh, Kirksville. <laughs> Uh, I've been teaching English. I taught my second class today. Um, I've been enjoying it. Uh, a funny thing that happened today, um, only one person joined and that was Sam. So the entire time uh, we just talked about the Cold War and US uh, Russia relations and <laughs> like stuff like that. And like I asked him, like I was like, hey, like, so I'm from the U.S., so obviously I have, I have like a skewed view of what my country is. And we, I was like, hey, like, what is your perception of the U.S.? Or like, what do Armenians think of the United States? Because it's always interesting to get like an outside perspective. And then we were talking about like the Soviet Union and all that kind of stuff. So it was it was really fun. We, we cracked some jokes and he accidentally <laughs> let out like 
he said like the f word and he was like oh, i'm so sorry i'm so sorry and i was and i was like i was like no you're fine I'm like good english <laughs> how, so, how old is yeah. he he's 16 that you know he's only 16 lucas and like his english is crazy good oh it's yeah. very good yeah oh yeah it's really good yeah. he's really funny too so that that always makes it fun <laughs> I'm glad you guys had a, a good discussion. Oh, yeah. uh, Fatima, how about you? you? Can you tell us? Yeah, I, uh, I'm currently in Dubai. Um, I teach SAT math, so I guess being a math teacher, tutor is not really fun for students. Um, and the classes are not so fun because students don't really usually like math. Um, but one fun thing that I one funny thing, just like Lucas, I only have like a, around one or two students that attend every class. And I've, uh, I've had around like more than eight classes so far, and it's always the exact same students, which is fine. Um, and something that is fun, I guess, uh, when students text me, when not one student texts me on WhatsApp, I send like funny stickers to them. And that's the only thing I enjoy because there's nothing fun in math, I guess, for the students. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, what kind of uh, what kind of emojis do you send? Like, they're not emojis. They're sti WhatsApp stickers. stickers. Different. Oh, WhatsApp yeah, stickers. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. cool. Yeah, and for those of you, uh, for some of you, I know WhatsApp is a new uh, new app for you to get used to. But uh, hopefully, everyone is is getting comfortable with that. It's it seems to be the best way to keep in touch with, with our groups and with our students because it's very widespread in Armenia and Europe and the rest of the world. Um, maybe not quite as much in the US, but, uh, but hopefully everyone is, is getting the hang of that. So uh, thank you, Fatima. Uh, Ani, you're, uh, can you tell us what you're going to be teaching? Hello? Hello. Hi everyone, I am a, a fat ballerina <laughs> because I was ballerina in past. Now I'm choreographer and we started to create a group for dance, for stretching, uh, for maybe a ballet moves. That's good, that's exciting for us. <laughs> It's unique. Only languages, mathematics, and dance is something <laughs> yes, <laughs> that we are waiting for those classes. So he was a famous we ballet dancer in Armenia. <laughs> and she used to teach ballet at the university. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I was yeah. lecturer in uh, Yerevan University in Cinema and Theater. And I was performing in Europe, some of my performances. Uh, I was, uh, uh, I have a performance in opera and ballet in Armenian. And I was a choreographer in some of projects and TV show, like, So You Think You Can Dance? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Very cool. Thank you, Ani. Thank you, Amish. Uh, Sophie, you're next. Okay, hi guys, I'm Sophie. I live in Kansas, um, so very center of the US. I've been teaching two English classes, one for fifth and sixth graders and one for like college age students. Um, they're both really fun. Uh, Darina, she's on here, she's in one of the, the okay, older ones. Join. Yeah. yeah, I was hoping that Tigran and Ashot would be here because they're volunteers as well and they're also in my older class. Because they are on my vacations, if you yeah, remember. They're on vacations, yeah, they don't yeah. have internet connection. Yeah, but my funniest moment comes from them for sure. Um, <laughs> one of our classes, we were talking about first impressions, and the question was, "How can you tell if someone is dangerous by looking at them?" And Tigran's answer, I I thought I was mishearing him. Like I thought he was pronouncing a word weird, and I couldn't understand it. But it turns out he was actually saying, "The way someone chews." Can tell you if they're dangerous and so i was so confused i was like what i don't understand and so he started demonstrating and he started like chewing dangerously and it was really <laughs> funny <laughs> so that's become like an inside joke in our class and even the meeting password is now chewing so yeah lots of funny moments with them <laughs> thanks sophie um darina how about you can you hear us 
It sounds. It looks like you're out somewhere pretty yeah, walking. Yeah, sure. Um. Yeah. Hi, hi, everyone. And I joined the meeting just um a couple minutes ago. I'm really sorry for being late. Yes. Yeah, so your question one more time please because i have some technical issues like internet issues with internet connection. oh we were just if you could tell us uh, where you are what you've been teaching and uh, maybe something that's funny or interesting that's happened in your classes okay yes yeah. so um i'm Dorina. i'm 20 years old and i'm originally from russia uh, and um, in at the pedagogical university and um, studying foreign languages. So it's a really interesting that's a kind of a brand experience for me to teach Russian language as a volunteer. Yeah, it's really and I didn't expect my students to be <laughs> I just didn't see it come. Yeah. So, um, interesting communication. They have like so many different ideas. I haven't heard from like my closest friends and from any other person in my surrounding. So I'm really <coughs> happy that I'm with you guys. <laughs> Um, yeah, and just uh, every class is uh, full of jokes, <laughs> and uh, everyone is so funny, kind, and open. I can't pick one. <laughs> Thank you, Darina. Thank you. We're, we're happy to have you teaching with us. Yeah. Um, and Thank and she said something that's interesting. You know, we we've, we've watched some of the recordings of the classes. And it, it really is interesting the answers that the that the students give. I think hopefully as teachers that they've been interesting to you because sometimes it's a completely different perspective than than what you might have. So I think that's been pretty cool. Thanks, Darina. Uh, Ronnie, hi. Hi, Ronnie. Hi, how are you? Good. We're good. So hi, my name is Ronnie. I'm from Israel. Um, from the Middle East, actually. Um, uh, actually, I'm a half Armenian. English is my third language. Uh, I teach English uh, to kids in elementary school, um, and it's uh, pretty fun. I enjoy it very much. Um, and that's it. <laughs> Where is Katrin? Um, actually, I, she's at work. Good. Great. Okay. Thank you, Rani. Thank you, Rani. Uh, Tatevik, hello. Hi. Well, hi, everyone from Germany. Now, currently, I'm in the car. <laughs> so, I'm planning to teach character design and 2D animation. So, can't wait to start. <laughs> Thank you, Tatevi. If, uh, if any of you have visited our, ve our website or seen our logo, that's, that's Tatevi's design. We, we love that design. And uh, Thank you. she also did the animation and the video that, uh, the promotional video that's on our website too. Um, that was a lot of hard work, we know. And uh, it but turned out really fun. <laughs> Fun, yeah, it it turned out pretty cool. And we, uh, she also did the design for the uh, thank you cards. We believe it or not, we have some donations already, and uh, so we've been sending thank you, uh, thank you cards with her design to uh, to whoever sends us a donation. So, thank you for all thank that you. help, Dante Big John. Uh, thank you too. <laughs> Camille, I saved you for last just because uh, I know you haven't been teaching a class, but you're still a valuable volunteer. We're excited uh, to hopefully have some of your help with uh, social media. So maybe just tell us what you're up to. Hi. Um, so I, I just moved back to Merced, my college town in California last night. Um, so I'm, I'm calling from Merced. And I, I haven't taught classes yet, um, but my, my schedule is different now because I'm starting my semester. So actually, I, I, um, maybe we can talk about it. I might be able to, um, or at least attend some of them. I'm, I'm really interested in the Armenian class. 
Um, so I'll also be helping out with the social media presence. Um, so that's, that's what I, I currently work on for my job. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And it's, it's awesome to see so many volunteers and, and hear that the classes are going great. Thanks, Camille. Thank you, Camille. Thanks, Luke. Um, so I think that's everyone that's on the call. Um, you know, uh, this is, since school is starting for everyone now, everyone is going back to college, classes are starting. We know that this is kind of a, a tricky few weeks because everyone is adjusting to new schedules. Uh, all of you volunteers and also all the students. Um, so it's kind of a little bit of a transition the next couple of weeks because everyone gets their, their schedules figured out. Um, so just let us know if, if you have classes or work um, and you need to change the time of your class, that's something we can work with. Um, just, just let us know because we understand that uh, all of your schedules are changing right now. Um, and also expect a, a little bit of uh, fluctuation with your students because I think they're, as they start classes, uh, their, their schedules might be changing. Uh, a lot of them are on vacation in Armenia right now, so um, you may notice some, some students aren't there. But, uh, but let us know if you're seeing a lot of absences. We, we want to try to keep the classes as full as possible. Um, so if, if you notice that you're only getting a couple of students per class, uh, talk to Hasmik or Christina. Uh, we can see uh, what's going on. We can maybe add students or, or, or talk to the students to make sure they, uh, they're attending like they should. Um, so, that's really, we didn't have an agenda for today, but are there any questions or other comments that, that any of you have for us or for each other? No? No. no. Ask me, uh, Christina, do, do you guys have uh, anything else? I guess no. So yeah. just it's the first meeting for the second meeting will be more active like yes a lot of things to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we uh you know we uh we hope to have we'll we'll probably do these meetings once in a while just so I want everyone to feel that you're part of a family. This is a group, this is a team, we're a family. Uh so and realize that that we're all over the world and but we're all together. So so feel like you're supported and feel like you're part of part of something bigger. And, uh, you know, someday maybe we can all have a meeting like this in Armenia and go somewhere oh. kind of cool, somewhere interesting. Hasmi can take us somewhere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Swinging bridge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, the best place in Armenia. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm, for sure. So, uh, so hopefully I'm looking forward to have all of you in Armenia. Thank you indeed. You are doing the best, the greatest job for Armenians, guys. Thank you indeed. Okay. This much. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thank everyone. You. Have, Thanks, a nice everyone. have a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.